This is a download from BBC Learning English. To find out more, visit our website. We present the story of Dick Whittington and his cat, a pantomime, featuring the cats and cast of BBC Learning English. Let's start off by meeting our hero, Dick Whittington. He's just walking home after a long day at the office. Hey there, Dick. Hello. Tell us a bit about yourself, where you're from, hobbies, and so on. Well, I'm a young man, not from London originally. I came here last year looking for my fortune. Any luck so far? Well, I've got a good job. I'm assistant paperclips officer for a very large company. It's my responsibility to make sure we never. Ever run out of paper clips? That sounds、uh, really not a very good job. No, it isn't that good. But you've got to start somewhere, haven't you? And tomorrow things might just change for the better. Why? What's happening tomorrow? It's the hundred and thirty-fourth London Rat Catching Contest. The winner gets to be Lord Mayor of London. I've always wanted to be the Lord Mayor of London. It just sounds so cool. Hi, I'm Dick, Lord Mayor of London. But are you much good at catching rats? No, but I've got a cat, Apple. He'll catch the rats for me. Apple's rather an odd name for a cat, isn't it? Well, I don't think so. No. Anyway, you'll meet Apple in just a minute. Hi, Apple. I'm home. Where have you been? I was expecting you home an hour ago. Sorry, old thing. I got held up at the office. All、oh, right, another paperclip emergency, I suppose. Yeah, something like that. All、oh, right, and how are your fingers? They're okay. A bit paperclippy, but why do you ask? They haven't fallen off then. No, of course not. What are you talking about? Well, if your fingers haven't fallen off, why can't you phone and tell me you're going to be late? Oh, please, please! Can we just have one night without an argument? I'm tired. I've had a long day. All right, all right. Keep your fur on. Your dinner's in the oven. Thank you. Oh, rat ragu again! Do we really have to eat the same thing every day? It's good for you. All the main food groups are present on that plate. And I've picked out the tails. Well, that's something, I suppose. Hey, speaking of rats, what are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, what time? About three o'clock. Three o'clock. Let's see. I'm sleeping. Well, how about instead of sleeping, you take part in the 134th London Rat Catching Contest? <laughs> You're having a laugh, ain't you? No way. Why not? All that heartless, pointless killing. The screams of the little animals as they die, the blood that never comes off your paws, the horror, the horror. But we eat rat every day. Yeah, frozen rat from the supermarket. If you want to kill something furry, get a professional. I'll buy you a tuna steak. What's that you say? A tuna steak? Well, it wouldn't be that bad to be the Lord Mayor of London's cat. You could eat tuna every day, including weekends. Of course. Are you going to help me, Apple? Well, I'll give it a go. Yay! So here we are at the 134th London Rat Catching Contest, the most important and exciting event in the whole rat catching calendar. What a glorious sunny day it is for this important competition! And there are literally thousands of cats and their owners here in Trafalgar Square. Over there is Dick Whittington, looking slightly agitated. We all know how much that young man wants to be Lord Mayor of London. And standing nearby, no, surely not. Well, yes, it's that rich and successful banker, Frankie Banky. What's he doing here? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter if I don't win. I mean, the Lord Mayor thing would be just another string to my bow. I'm in hedge funds, private equity, that kind of thing. Basically, I'm incredibly rich and successful. Would you believe I made sixty grand yesterday, just on paperclips? Oh, wow! Yeah, it's amazing. Oh. Actually, there's a man who knows a thing or two about paperclips. Dick Whittington, what are you doing here? Oh, hi, Frankie. I was just telling these good people how I made a 
killing on paper clips yesterday, and today I'm going to make another killing to become Lord Mayor of London. All right. Right. Let me give you a free piece of advice. Don't waste your time, Dick. Go home now. Your little pet doesn't stand a chance against my Tigger. Tigger, is that the name of your cat? That's very original, Frankie. Well, it's a lot better than Apple. What kind of a name is that for a cat? Tigger, where's he got to? We're going to be starting any minute. Tigger, Tigger. Yeah, I'm me, me. It's meow. Tigger, me. I'm going to meow. Kill me all the mice and mats. And me, I, me, Asta is going to become Lord Mier of Meandern. You know, Tigger, you don't have to put up with that accent. Mier. Your accent. My name is Tigger. There's lots you can do to improve your pronunciation. Mier. The most important thing is that you practice every day. Listen carefully to the way humans speak, and then repeat after them. Actually, I can recommend you a really good website for improving your English. It's uh, it's called. Have you got a pen? Right. It's called. Uh, testing, testing. Is this thing working? It's called BBCLearningEnglish.com. It's a brilliant resource for every aspect of your English studies: grammar, vocabulary, listening. Oh, sorry about that. My name is Sylvania Fulbright. Welcome to the 134th London Rat Catching Contest. I can see quite a few familiar faces out there. Oh, and some new ones too. <coughs> Get on with it. Yes. So, these are the rules. Owners are not allowed to help their cats catch the mice in any way. Cats are only allowed to use one life during the contest and are not permitted to take strip in hunting trucks. All cats have until four o'clock to catch as many rats as they can. The owner with the most will be made Lord Mayor of London. Meow. See you at four o'clock. Kitty cat. I now officially declare this contest open. Oh, ow! Ow! Oh, watch it! That was my tail. I'm walking here. And they're off to a flying start with a great crowd of cats running up the strand. Just listen to them go. Did you hear them? Taking the lead, we have Frankie Banky's cat Tigger, a fine three-year-old tabby, and I believe today is Tigger's debut on the professional circuit. So definitely one to watch. But another young cat that's debuting today is, of course, Apple. But at the moment, Apple is actually towards the rear of the group, and oh, he's just slipped down that drain. I wonder what he'll find there. Thank Cranky for that. I very nearly became a luxury doormat for the likes of Frankie Banky. It's a bit dark down here, though. Time to use the old night vision. Oh, I'm in a sewer. How delightful. I wonder, is there a warm little corner where I can curl up for ten minutes? All oh, work and no sleep makes Apple a very, very tired cat. This'll do. Ow! What's that? I said ow! You just sat on me. Get off, you great big furball. Oh, hello. You're a rat. Really? Is that right? I haven't checked the mirror today. Ah, sarcasm. You rats are always sarcastic. By rights, I ought to catch you right now and take you back to my owner. Hmm. You could never catch me. No, but I could probably catch something off you. Get away with all your horrible diseases. You go away. You're in my home. You, this? You call this home? It stinks. And how can you stand that dripping? Hang on. There we go. Oh, how do you do that? You must have left the tap on. Oh well, that's a、uh, very decent of you, Mister Cat. Apple. My name's Apple. Apple. That's a strange name for a cat. Yeah, I'm not too pleased about it. But what can I do? What's your name? Oh, you can just call me Rat One.、Um, let me introduce my family. This is my wife, 
Rat too. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, Apple. I've been telling him about rat dripping for weeks. And this is my cousin, Rat 3. Hey, Rat 3. What's happening, Apple? And this is my little sister, Rat 4. Rat 4, Rat 4. Encantada. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. You, uh, you all look and sound quite similar, don't you? Yeah, there's a strong family likeness, but it's easy to tell us apart. All oh, right, how do I do that? Just download the script. But you haven't met the kids yet. Here they are, rats five to thirty. Oh, hello. 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 Listen, you guys had better go and hide somewhere. Today's the day of the London rat catching contest. There are a lot of mean cats about who would just love to meet your family. If you know what I mean. He's, He's behind, behind you. you! He's behind you! Who? Who's behind me? Quick, everyone, run away! Ha <laughs> ha! Too late for you, my little rats. Frankie Banky! That's right, it is I, Frankie Banky. And you can all boo if you like. I don't care. That's how bad I am. Thank you, Apple, for introducing me to this cosy little rat family. Get them, Tigger! Run, everybody, run! <laughs> they won't get far, and neither will you, Apple. How about the two of us go for a little walk? Well, thanks for the offer, but I'd rather not. I was just settling down for a nap, you see. Oh, Apple. <laughs> apple, Apple, Apple. I really think it's time you came with me. No, it, it's definitely time for a nap. It's gone to a clock. Apple, I'm telling you to come with me. Don't you know that very, very bad people like me are always polite? In fact, the more politely we speak, the badder we are. Understand? No, 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 no. You can't say badder, my friend. Y you mean worse. Hey, ow! Where are you taking me? And so, the sweet and loyal Apple is being catnapped by that evil villain, Frankie Banky. What are you going to do about it, Dick? Oh, uh, I've no idea, really. Call the police? Why not call Zappo the Wonder Horse? Zappo the Wonder Horse! Call 077009 Special rates apply. OK. I hope this isn't going to cost me a fortune. Oh, hello. Can I speak to... <laughs> hello, Zappo the Wonder Horse at your command. Zappo the Wonder Horse. Call 077009. Special rates apply. Hello, that was quick. Oh, there are two of you. Yes, I'm the top, you see. And I'm lower down. Now, young man, what seems to be the problem? Well, I'm looking for my cat, Apple. Looking for your cat's Apple? No, I'm looking for my cat, whose name is Apple. He's competing in the rat-catching contest, but he's just been taken by Frankie Banky. Frankie Banky, you say? Yes, the narrator tells me he's got him right now, but I've no idea where he's taking him. No, but whatever it is, we can tell you one thing. What's that? It won't be very nice. No. So, do you think that you might be able to help me? Unfortunately not. We're very sorry. Bottom, what are you talking about? You see, about? Top Half and I have agreed to stop fighting crime. And this definitely looks like a crime. Sorry, it's just far too dangerous. We can recommend the police, though. They're awfully good. Well, Bottom, we could make an exception on this one last occasion. After all, Frankie Banky doesn't scare Zappo the Wonder Horse. Zappo the Wonder Horse. Call 077009. Special rates apply. Yeah, but the trouble is that if we make an exception for this guy, then before long we'll be running around after every pantomime villain on the block. I'm sorry, Top. If you want to go and look for this cat, fine. I'm going home. <gasps> Wait! I command you to stay! Oh, let me go! You can't tell me what to do! Stop it! We've 
got to find Apple. Look, guys, it really doesn't matter. I'll just look for the cat myself. Wait, don't go. Don't go. Great. Well done, Bottom. Nice work. That poor man has lost not only his darling cat, but also his dream of becoming Lord Mayor of London. Well, you know, that's really sad and everything, but it's not really our problem, is it? Well, it will be everyone's problem if Frankie Banky becomes mayor. Oh, you might be right there. Oh, come on, Bottle. If anyone can stop that from happening, then surely it's... No, no, don't say it again. Surely. Please. Surely. It's Zappo the Wonder Horse. Zappo the Wonder Horse. Call 077 Special rates apply. Meanwhile, in another part of the city, Frankie Banky and Apple have reached their terrible destination. So, you see, there are rules for making comparatives, but there are one or two exceptions that you have to learn, and worse is one of them. Oh, shut up, Apple. Who cares about grammar? Didn't you hear the narrator? We've reached our terrible destination. Well, it doesn't look that terrible. This is just a garden shed, Frankie. <laughs> right, Apple. It looks just like any normal garden shed, but in fact, it's the Shed of Nightmares. What's that, then? The Shed of Nightmares. is an effects cupboard, which has been specially loaded with the nastiest, horriblest sound effects ever. Enjoy this creaky door, Apple. It's the last nice effect you're going to hear for a very, very long time. Oh, here we go. Have fun! Hmm. For an effects cupboard, it's awfully quiet in here. Well, let's just have a look around. What's over here? Ah! Easy, boy. Easy. Let's go over here. No, no, not, not the dentist. Stay calm, Apple, stay calm. It's just an effect, not a real drill. Let's go over here. Oh, no, oh, no. The car's not starting. I'm going to be late for an interview. Help me, someone, help me. Dick, Dick, where are you? But, unfortunately, Dick is on the other side of the city and definitely can't hear Apple. After giving up with Zappo the Wonder Horse... Zappo! Yes, 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 thank you. After giving up with... After giving up with the pantomime horse, he has decided to search for the cat himself. Apple! Apple! Grumpy! Sneezy! Bashful! Apple! Oh! Hello! Hello! Sorry, I was just looking for my cat. And he's called Apple. I'm not, you know, one of these people who just walk around calling out the names of different fruit. No, of course not. Um, but you haven't seen seven very small people on your travels, have you? Um, children, you mean? That sort of height, but with pickaxes and facial hair. Oh, you mean dwarves? Yes, only I'm not sure that's still a politically correct term, but yes, dwarves. No, I haven't. Are they friends of yours? Very good friends of mine. We're in this pantomime together called Snow White. I'm Snow White, by the way. And I was supposed to be meeting them at three, but... Let me just stop you there. You're in the wrong pantomime, I'm afraid. This is Dick Whittington. In fact, I'm Dick. Oh, you're kidding. No, I'm afraid I'm not. Unless I've accidentally wandered into Snow White. Either way, this is all a complete shambles. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, oh yes, yes, it is. is. Oh, no, it's not. OK, OK. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Listen, you would know this. Is dwarves D-W-A-R-V-E-S or is it D-W-A-R-F-S? Oh, well, it's either. You can spell it either way. Oh, really? I'd always wondered about that. Yeah, I tell you what, there's a really good website where you'll find answers to all of your English language questions. Oh, right. What's that, then? 
It's bbclearningenglish.com. bbclearningenglish.com. Tell me more. Well, they've got a section called Ask About English, which deals with all those niggling questions about the English language. Right, OK. But I think what I really need to improve is my listening comprehension. Then you love Talk About English. The BBC's weekly talk programme aims specifically at English language learners. With downloadable scripts and language support pages, it's exposure to English in context. Right, so that's bbclearningenglish.com for all your English language needs. Have you two finished? Yeah. I'm not sure what came over me then. Hmm, weird. Well, if you remember, we left Frankie Banky's cat Tigger in a sewer, chasing rats one to thirty inclusive. Haven't you caught them yet, Tigger? No, I don't know where they went. When I get them, my master will definitely become my lord Mier of me London. Red as a tad, red as a tad, red as a Shh, don't make so much noise. That awful cat Tigger might hear us. No, don't worry about him, Rat Two. He'll never find us here. He's far too stupid. Yeah, I guess you're right, Rat One. He is pretty dumb. I mean, have you heard his English accent? My name's Tigger Me. I'm really stupid, meow. <laughs> That's pretty good, Rat Two. Yeah, I've always been a pretty good copycat. Me really dumb, hey? Well, me'll just see about that. Okay, claws out, pouncing position, serious expression. Get ready to die, rats. Hmm, that's an interesting sound. Sort of mechanical. Meow. Funny how it's getting louder. Meow. What bright light? Rat two to rat one. Rat two to rat one. Come in, over. Yes, rat two. I'm hearing you loud and clear. The cat is flat. Repeat. The cat is flat. Over. Good work, rat two. Now let's rescue Apple. Roger that. I say, what is that thing? I say.、Ugh. I think it's a pizza. No, it's some sort of furry frisbee. Meow, meow, meow. Mind the cat. Mind the cat. So it looks like Tigger has lost one of his nine lives. But what about Apple? Will the rats reach him before the evil shed of nightmares sends him completely nuts? The crackle of an open fire, the rustle of autumn leaves, swish, swish. The jolly ice cream van doing his round, the warm smack of a cricket bat hitting a six. Oh, I don't know how much more of this I can take, Dick. Where are you? My nose is telling me this is the right spot. Apple? Yes, yes, it's me. Is that really you, Rat One, or is it just another effect? It's not Rat One, but it's not an effect either. This is Rat Two. Rat One is outside, together with Rat Three to Infinity. We've all come to save you, Apple. Oh, guys, you're the best. No time for that. Let's get out of here quick. Oh. Sweet, sweet bird song, how I long for you in there. Rustle of trees, I thought about you for every waking second of my ordeal. Darling, traffic noise. It was only when you were taken from me that. Come on, Apple. We need to scram before Frankie gets back. 
Oh, yes. Let's go before that nasty Frankie Banky comes back. I wish he would stop creeping up on us like that. Really, Apple? I owe you so much. That's twice in one day you've led me to a huge number of rats. It's just a shame that I don't have dear Tigger here to catch them all for me. I'm not sure what's happened to him. He seems to be delayed. But anyway, it doesn't matter at all because I have this enormous electric chocolate stun gun. It will turn all of these rats into chocolate mice and make me Lord Mayor of London. Let me just turn it on. Come on, come on. It takes a while to warm up. But it's a very special weapon. You'll see in a minute. Uh, Frankie? Hang on. I hate to tell you this, but he's behind you. Who is? That's us. Now, everybody just take it easy. Stay calm. This is quite a dangerous situation and we don't want any accidents. Hold it right there, Frankie. Where's Apple? Apple? Why, he's right here. You can take him if you want. I have no further use for him. Oh, are you okay, little cat? Well, I've had better days, but, you know, I'm coping. Well, that's good news. You know, I think we've done a good job here, Top. We've found the cat. He looks fine. So let's take him back to Dick, and then we can all have a nice cup of tea. Wait! You can't leave us here with him. He's totally crazy. And he's got an enormous electric chocolate stun gun. No, don't worry, little creatures. Of course we won't leave you. Hand over the gun, Frankie. Ha! You must think I'm stupid. We mean it. Hand it over now. Stop, Top. He's going to fire it at us. Well, if you won't give it, we'll have to take it. Ow! <laughs> Top, what have we done? Bottom. I think we've just made Frankie Banky a much sweeter man. That is, without a doubt, the largest chocolate mouse I've ever seen in my life. So, where's Dick Whittington all this time? Isn't he supposed to be the hero? Doesn't he want to be Lord Mayor of London anymore? It's very valuable, I think. I don't know. It's some kind of talking mirror. That's what I've heard anyway. A talking mirror? Yeah, her. I think she bought it in America. Is it for blind people? No, no. You ask it questions and it answers them. Like, she asks it, who's the fairest of them all? And apparently, this mirror said I was. Well, you know, that's no surprise to me. You are very, very pretty. Really? Do you think so? Oh, come on, Snow. You must know you're gorgeous. <laughs> well, I did have a suspicion, but it's ever so nice to hear it confirmed. You're beautiful. And if I were more than just a rotten assistant paperclips officer, I'd ask you to... Ask me to what, Dick? Well, I'd ask you to be my girlfriend. But I know that a swell girl like you wouldn't be seen dead with an ordinary guy like me. Would you? No, but maybe if your cat does really well in the rat catching contest and you become Lord Mayor, then... <gasps> the rat catching contest! I completely forgot about that! It's five past four. The tail counting will already have started. Come on, relate! <laughs> and lastly... With an absolutely incredible 31 tails, we have Tiddles. Come and get a warm sort of milk for young Tiddles. And will the owner please come forward? I can't see Apple anywhere. They're about to announce the winner. He doesn't have an owner. So, what do we do now? We can't have a cat as Lord Mayor. Cal Supreze, 
I knew Apple wouldn't help me become Lord Mayor. He really is the most selfish animal in the whole world. Wait, Dick. What? That music. It must mean Apple's coming back just in time. You're right. Well, it's the first time it's happened in 800 years. But I can now announce that. Hang on. I think we have a last minute tangent. We have a cat at the back of the crowd who appears to be floating. Look, there's Apple. But he's not floating, he's being carried by rats. Good people of London, do not run away in fright. I come in peace and goodwill as an ambassador for my good friends, the rats of London, who today saved my life. I have something very important to say about the rats of London. Too long they've been confined to the shadows and sewers of our great city, afraid for their tiny lives, while we hunt them down with traps and poisons and so-called sporting events like this. Too long we've retained false ideas and stereotypes about our fellow creatures, who are actually very clean animals. What about the plague, then? Oh, that was ages ago. You know, plagues happen from time to time, and everybody goes a bit crazy, and some people die, but we haven't had a plague in this country for over 300 years. I just think we need to get over the plague. If you make my master, Dick Whittington, Lord Mayor of London, he'll work with the rats of London to ensure that we never see a plague ever again. Oh, oh what is your name, good cat? My name is Apple, my lady. That's a very strange name for a cat, but I can tell you that you are the winner of the 134th Rat Catching Contest. Who is your master? That's me. I'm his master, my lady. Here I am, Dick Whittington. Well done, Apple. Congratulations. Get it? Congratulations. Is this man really your master? Hmm, I'm not sure, actually. Apple? What do you mean, I'm not sure? It's me, Dick, your old buddy. I've never seen this man before in my life. How can you say that? I'm your oldest friend. Come on, let's go out to celebrate. I'll get you that nice tuna steak I promised. Oh, you're all friendly now, now that you're about to become Lord Mayor of London. Where were you when I needed you? Getting cosy with Princess over there, no doubt. Ah, yes. Apple, I want you to meet Snow White. Hello, Apple. I've heard all about you. I'm sure you have. Look, I really need to get home. Is it your owner or not? Maybe. Oh, all right. Yes, he's my owner. Oh, Apple, thank you. I'll never forget this. Dick Whittington, I hereby pronounce you Lord Mayor of London. And so the Lord Mayor's carriage makes its way slowly down Oxford Street, surrounded by crowds of rats, cats and people. What a fine summer's day to have a Lord Mayor making celebration. Yes, and what a fine young man this Richard Whittington is. Let's just hope he's got enough spunk for this most difficult and challenging job. There are so many things that a Lord Mayor has to do. He has to ensure that Big Ben is fed twice a day and that all the tourists pronounce the word Greenwich correctly. And, of course, his most important job of all is to make sure that the entire city of London never, ever runs out of paperclips. What's that you say? Paperclips? I thought I was finished with all that. Oh, well, at least as Lord Mayor of London, I'll be able to marry Snow White. What's that you say? Marry you? I said I'd go out with you, but no one ever mentioned the big white dress. One step at a time, Lord Mayor. OK, OK, one step at a time. But you will go out with me, won't you? On a trial basis. OK, I'll go out with you. And so they might not be happy ever after, but let's hope our friends Dick Whittington, his cat Apple and Snow White will be moderately content for a good amount of time. The end.
Dick Whittington was played by Jackie Dalton. Apple by William Kramer. Neil Edgler was Frankie Banky. Snow White was played by Eleanor Newton, and Amber Barnfather was Tigger. Rats 1 to 30 were all played by Catherine Chapman. Zappo the Wonder Horse. Zappo! Oh, double seven, double oh nine, double oh double oh nine. Special rates apply. Yes, all right. Zappo the Wonder Horse was played by. Zappo the Wonder Horse. Yes, all right. By Nula O'Sullivan as top and Dima Kostenko as bottom. Sylvania Fulbright was Paul Scott. And my name is Callum Robertson. Goodbye. Bye. bbclearningenglish.com